Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over part 10 of the warehouse design series. And in this part, we're actually going to be focusing outside of the warehouse and we're going to be looking at the parking lot for the associates and or management team that will be at the warehouse itself. So we're getting closer to being done with this series, but we still have a few details that we need to sort out both exterior and interior. So with that being said, let's get into it. Real quick, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. This helps me understand what videos are doing well. It helps me understand if you guys like the content and if you want to see more of it. If you find the video helpful or like it, give it a like down below. And if you want to see more or see something else, leave it in the comment section as well. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to find out where we want the parking lot specifically. So we're going to assume a road runs right here. And we want to have all the parking lot in this general area. Since we want it in that general area, that is where we're going to start off. And the first thing we're going to do is actually come out roughly six foot. We'll go six foot, four inches. And we're going to make a line that stretches all the way down to, we'll say, right here. There we go. Now, some of you might be asking what this line is for, and believe it or not, this is going to be a grass area and or garden area with mulch, trees, whatever. But a lot of the times, most warehouses will have this designed in, and then we are actually going to make another line, and we're going to do this one four foot six inches, and this right here is going to be our walkway. It's going to be our um, sidewalk. So this allows associates to step on a sidewalk so they can walk in here. Now, this will be changed around here in a second, but for right now, we're just going to kind of put it here as a uh, guidance line to where we're going to go. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to create the parking spots. And to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the line function, and we're actually going to start right here, and we're going to come up 18 feet. Press Enter. And then we're going to come over six inches because you're going to want to paint that as a stripe. And most of the time that could be six inches. It could be shorter, sometimes longer, depending on whoever you get to paint it. And then we're going to come over nine inches, nine feet, excuse me. And then come back up 18 feet. And then come back over six inches. And then come back down again to reach the bottom. Now this parking spot is 18 feet by nine feet. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to copy these and we are going to start pasting them and continuing to copy all the way down. Since we have a few now, we are going to come over here and we are going to make this a lot easier by copying a bunch and just pasting them. there. Do we have room? We have room for one more. Copy this individual. Bring it over. Okay. Now what we're going to do, since we have this all done, is we are going to mirror the parking spots and put them on the other side to create double the parking spots that you currently see. All right. So to mirror the parking spots, we are going to come here and what we're going to do is just select all of these, and then we're going to come to our mirror button. Mirror, we'll call it right here. Slide it around, and we are going to not erase the source object. We obviously want to keep that. And then we are going to draw a 24-foot line, and that is going to be our essentially our roadway or our aisleway so people can drive. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to bring this down and I did not have it on the right one, which is okay. We're going to recopy this and move it so it matches. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are actually going to, um, create and start blocking this area off and making it look a little bit more uniform 
so that it makes a little bit of sense. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to come here. We're going to get rid of the rest of this part of our building because the, well, you know what, we'll keep the, we'll keep the grassy area. We're going to get rid of the sidewalk because you're not going to need it. And then we are going to trim this bit. And actually, we're going to do it right here. We're going to trim this, trim this, trim that, trim that, that, and that. And we're going to draw a line here to complete the parking lot for our associates. All right, so we're getting close to done here, but there's a few things we need to add in still to make this parking lot complete. And the first one is actually an entrance way. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna close off the parking lot all the way to the top here. And I'm gonna add an entrance way. Now we want about 24 feet, like the same as this drive aisle. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna erase about five, four to five parking spots and that is going to allow me to bring in the 24 feet. Now, I'm sure there is uh, regulations behind this. I don't know what they are. I'm sure there's also right ways to do it. This is probably more of a civil engineering job, but this is kind of just a example of how you could propose a layout for someone to fit the amount of parking spots that you need. So we're gonna go 24 feet for the opening. And then we're also gonna come out 24 feet so you can get to the roadway without turning right on it. Down, whoop, gonna erase that, that's not the right line. We're gonna trim this right here. And we're gonna trim this. And we're actually going to take the fillet function and pretty this up a little bit. So we're gonna come here. We're gonna select the radius and we're gonna go to this point right here. Probably come out five feet. And that gives us that radius fillet right there. We're gonna do the same with the other one. Oops. We're gonna come out five feet. Select the two lines we want. Oops. Actually, we're gonna trim that off. Extra line there that we don't need. And now we have our entrance area as well as our exit area for our facility. So the next thing I want to do also is I'm going to add in the rest of this area for our sidewalk. We're gonna trim this out to add our entrance area. And one other thing we actually wanna do, it's very important, is we're gonna add handicap spaces to these parking spots right here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to rotate this. We're gonna rotate it that way so it's facing the correct orientation we are going to move it and I am actually going to create a center point that way we can get it just right so this is nine feet across we're going to go 4.5 feet and 18 feet down so we're going to go nine feet for that center point I am going to copy this. Bring it in. And then what I'm going to do is copy this entire thing. And we are actually going to create three handicap spots just to make sure that we are compliant with all of our needs from the ADA. All right, so these two spots right in the middle of the handicap zones have to be marked to allow for handicap ramps and vans to be accessible without hitting or door dinging other people's vehicles. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna use the hatch function, but before we do that, I'm going to bring in right here and I'm just going to draw a box around both of these because it will make the hatch um, function easier to use. And this is just how I do it. This may or may not be the right way, but this is how I'm gonna do it. it. Just makes it easier for me. So now we're gonna come here to the hatch function. I'm actually going to go to the pattern. We're gonna use um, 
keep this cabin right here. Keep that one. And I am going to cash this entire thing. And then we're going to update this. Bring the let's bring it to forty. Nope, my lie. We're gonna do fifty. All right, and now we're gonna do the other one too. All right, now we have those two spots hatched, and we are compliant with every ADA. Um, parking lot need, if you will. Next thing I'm also going to do is we're just going to take these and we're going to add in maybe one more, maybe two. Yeah, we'll add in two more. We took a few too many out, which is okay. So, and obviously we don't have any parking spots here because this is the entrance and we want to make sure that people are able to enter uh, where they need to be. So, all right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're actually going to draw a little curb around the entire parking lot to kind of differentiate uh, where the parking lot is versus where the grass or dirt is. And what we're going to do here, this can be real quick, but we're just going to come up six inches and just bring that up all around the parking lot. So we're going to come here, and we're going to come up another six inches. We're going to bring that down here. Actually, going to come up here six inches. Oh, that's not what I wanted. We're going to delete that. We're going to come over here. Come down. And then I'm going to come off this edge right here, six inches. Come up six more inches. And we're gonna do the fillets, very similar to how we did that before. We're gonna come up here to fill it, drop the arrow down to radius, up here to five feet. And then hit these two areas. Do the same thing here. Drop it down to radius five feet. Enter. There, and as you can see, I have a fillet plus six inches all around for my curb. All right, so that's going to wrap the video here. We just made 54 parking spots plus three handicap spots for this facility. Now, that should be plenty for the uh, type of work this facility is doing and the headcount. Um, but that's going to wrap up kind of really what the parking lot's about. I know it was a longer video, but remember, a parking lot's very important. If there's nowhere to park your car, there's really not going to be any way for people to get to work and do their job. So it might seem trivial, but a parking lot is very important. And you also need to factor it in when you're factoring in the headcount that you will need per shift. So with that being said, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.